WWE Crown Jewel is always a very interesting pay-per-view. Over the years we saw the highlight of The Undertaker's career, the most important championship made, Titus visiting Hornswoggle, 5 star matches, more 5 star matches, and the most anticipated debut in WWE history. That's gotta be Kane! And I know not all of these moments happen at Crown Jewel, but... It's the same thing. Anything can happen during this paper, you know. Saudi Prince gets what Saudi Prince wants. Now, since I know CM Punk is probably not gonna agree to this, there's one big return left, and it can only happen at Crown Jewel. And you guys know what I'm talking about. Obviously, baby big show. Dirty diaper or not. Prince decides. So let's talk about this show. I think the build was horrendous. It was really bad. Like SmackDown did okay. For the most part, it's just Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar. I was kind of into the King of the Ring tournaments as well. I think that was pretty okay. Everything else really sucked. You touched my son, Bobby. You touched my son. With that being said, the pay-per-view still feels very big. So let's talk about the matches. Finn Balor versus Xavier Woods, King of the Ring Finals. I'm excited about this one. I'm actually going to be happy with either result. I think Finn Balor would be a great king, especially Demon Balor. Like I've said, it really, you know, I could already see the black crown. That's pretty nice I assume. Xavier Woods, someone that actually wanted to win the King of the Ring for quite a while now before it was even announced, so that would be pretty awesome. And you know, he never won a singles championship, so I'm all for it. And honestly, if I could choose, I would pick Xavier Woods. Now when it comes to my prediction, it's really hard to predict. I'm gonna say Xavier Woods. I'm 50-50 on this, it's really hard to predict, but maybe WWE, you know, just wanna give something to Xavier Woods for once. Dewdrop vs. Elena Vega, Queen's Crown Tournament Finals. Yes, that is the match, that's what we got. The first ever Queen of the Ring and it's Dewdrop vs. Elena Vega. Yeah. Thank you. No matter how many times I would press a random button in 2k games, I would get a better match. I mean, I hope Zelina is winning, so that's gonna be my prediction. Go Zelina! Mansoor vs Mustafa Ali, man. Man, the undefeated streak is about to continue, we all know that. The story is fine, finally we saw a different side of Mansoor, you know, with a pair of balls, with a pair of cajones, so that's great. I can already see the pop, the hometown hero. He's like the Undertaker at WrestleMania. So you know where I'm going with this. Mansoor takes the W. Raw Tag Team Championships match. Or K-Bro vs. Omas and AJ Styles. Again, again, we're getting this match. And, you know, I love all four men. Especially three. Omas is just kind of there right now. And I know the match itself is gonna be good. I'm just saying, we already seen it quite a few times, there's nothing more to tell, AJ Styles is being wasted, Riddle is wasted but that's good. The story is so bland right now, there's nothing more to tell to the point that the only story going on right now, can Randy Orton hit an RKO? Can he? Can Randy Orton hit an RKO on Raw? Whether to AJ Styles or Omas? Now, I guess that's gonna be the last match, and it's gonna end with Randy Orton hitting an RKO to Omas, and that might be the only reason we're getting this match again. That big moment, Orton hitting an RKO to the big boy. So my prediction is RK bro. Edge vs Rollins Hell in a Cell match. Now in terms of a match, the quality of a match, this one is gonna steal the show, and I'm excited about this match the most. And you know, let's be fair, the story is really good as well. I said that the only good story was Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns, but this is also an amazing story and might be even better. Uh, Long-term storytelling and, you know, uh, one of these rare cases where in 2021 it still works. So, really excited about this match. It's kind of tough to predict because I could see both guys winning, but... I'm gonna go with Seth Rollins in this one. I think Seth is taking the W. He needs it more. And WWE might feel the same way. And I'm already predicting this is gonna be the match of the night. Me, Goldberg versus Bobby. A no holds barred match. Which means I can kill him. Yeah, me, Goldberg, killing Bobby. WWE are so desperate with the story that they're like, okay, Goldberg, 
we, we never say this on television ever ever even the word choke is banned but you're gonna say you're gonna kill bobby that's how desperate we are we need people to care we pay you a loads of money you know i don't really mind this match i'm really interested in what kind of image these two are going to give us it's no holds barred so that works in goldberg's favor obviously I'm just kind of scared, you know. Like I've said, Crown Jewel is this weird Vince McMahon wet dream, so anything can happen. And instead of actually building Bobby Lashley for Brock Lesnar, they're gonna feed him to Goldberg. That's the most likely scenario, and um, I'm gonna go with Goldberg in this one, unfortunately. I don't think and hope that he will kill him. SmackDown Women's Triple Threat Match. Becky vs. Sasha vs. Belair. Big on paper, I think the match is gonna be great, uh, it's gonna be interesting how long the match is going to be, and how are they gonna be dressed, I mean, I'm honestly curious, but, you know, on paper it's a big match, the story itself, I've said it many times, it's so fucking basic, I'm taking Becky in this one, now I'm not really talking a lot about these stories because I've basically covered everything, man, uh, you know, we're basically getting the same stuff every week, and you probably already heard my thoughts on these matches and these rivalries. WWE Championship match, Big E vs. Drew McIntyre, the story is horrible, on paper, yeah, a pretty interesting match, and uh, a very predictable one, by the way, I mean, Drew McIntyre is going to SmackDown, Will we have both championships on SmackDown while Raw is gonna be left for dead? Yes, Big E is retaining the championship. And finally, the Universal Championship, Roman Reigns vs. Brock Lesnar. Love the story, you know, it's really unpredictable. It, we don't even know which side Paul Heyman actually is. And he tweeted that he will leave the Universal Championship at Crown Jewel, but he didn't tell us who. Who is the Universal Champion at the end of the night? I've already made this prediction a couple of videos ago, but I think the winner of this match is going to be Roman Reigns. That is my prediction. There is not a chance they're gonna take the championship away from Roman Reigns already, uh, because it's just going so good, you know. It's not even boring yet, which is really odd, because we get tired of shit really quickly. So, great job. And I think... During that paper, we will finally realize that Paul Heyman is with Roman Reigns all along, and Brock Lesnar was just, was just lying, manipulating Roman Reigns, and Paul Heyman will cost Brock Lesnar the match. That's how we will know. So my prediction is Roman. So these are my crown jewel predictions, you know, at the end of the day, I know the storylines itself suck, but on paper, the match card... It's kind of marky, I mean, the matches itself are really big, and I could actually look at this card and you know, kind of treated like SummerSlam. So whatever the case may be, fingers crossed for a good pay-per-view. Thank you for watching this video. Let me know your predictions in the comments below. And as always, the great one, peace, love, and hugs. It's been a pleasure.